Magnet for genius. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi, and welcome in Anno 1800 Advanced Guide Gameplay, episode number 39. So, as you can see, we are at night, and yes, we are looking for our research institute and our scholars' building. So, they are looking really nice, as we're just gonna. Yeah, they got the beautiful white light coming out from the windows, as you can see. So, yeah, so they are probably now studying for the next day in the uni research institute. So, yes, we're gonna go and change it to the day once again, time of the day. So, it is right now fixed in me in my gameplay. So, thanks to that, I have the day all the time. We're gonna We're go the to the research institute, and if I'm I gonna just show it. you that I have 18 buildings waiting for us to be built so thanks to that we'll be able to uh, expand and so the thing is that last time i was researching the campus extension there was additional bonus research that popped up and they said that i have the research kit so as you can see i have the one research kit done so i can identify any item of own and make the copy of it so if we're gonna go to the items tab i was thinking about this guy which is called this, this is the guy, the Fernando, the Faro, coffee lover, and the all-around cat. If you're gonna click on him, you'll see that, unfortunately, he's the one specialist that can be only obtained once. And if you see, this, there are items that have those bottle, research bottle, in the top left corner, which means that we can research it. And the guys that does not have it, means that they need the kit. So, as you can see, we need to use the research kit to make the copy of this guy. The same with this guy and this guy and all the other items that does not have research bottle in the top left corner of the item. So yeah, we got the items and I was thinking what I should research next. So I was thinking about the items, so I'm gonna go and uncheck everything in here. And I'm gonna go only to the unknown items, I'm gonna go and check also all islands. So now I have the items that I don't know and I have not researched them. So now I'm gonna go to the cultural items and I'll check the items that I don't have for my museum. As you can see, I don't have the Gods of Delta and also I don't have the Roots of Enbesa. So two buildings, legendary items for our museum. So I'm gonna go to the Research Institute, check clicking on them and go to the Research Institute. And once I'm getting in here, you'll see that the, it is already selected in here and I can start development of it. I'm gonna start the development as you can see I can even push almost to 10,000 as you can see so it is major improvement as you remember in the previous episode I have like 3,000 only workforce and now I have 9,400 so the development of this item will take only 15 minutes and I have still 13,000 so I'm gonna to go to the research and I'm gonna to go to culture invest and yes we got the legendary items so we're gonna just Identify those, identify those objects, those items, and we're gonna go back and I'll tell you why I have such a big amount of workforce for my engineer. Well, I made my super hardcore influence farm, so you get the information in the top right corner right in here. So as you can see, this is my super hardcore influence farm, and if I'm gonna turn on the layout, the layout in here, you'll see that this is the layout, it looks the same as you can see. So this is the basic layout for my super hardcore farm and once I build it I get some extra influence points and thanks to that after that and after that I was expanding the city to get the engineers also. It's certainly not the perfect formula. So as you can see in my export city I have also the production chains to fulfill their needs so they have the sewing machines and all the other stuff in here so, so glasses light bulbs and also canned food How we've to so get if we're gonna to go the in to the any warehouse and check the population we'll see that we have 90 investors then 64 engineers one artisan <laughs> so yeah i forgot to upgrade him and then 101 farmers we should have 65 engineers so why i was building this in here so let me just turn off the layover and go into the trade roads you will see that i am was searching for the islands in the cave trilogy that had the oil springs so we know about our huge island in here but also i have the island export city as you can see it has the oil springs and also camino it also has the oil springs and also tatooine oil springs and the oil springs are important because thanks to that i can have the electricity so there are the three 
islands in here that have the oil springs so we got in here oil right in here as you can see yeah we got the train coming with the oil so they are coming right in this area going to the port town right in here where i have also as you can see small uh, made only this one botanical garden with six item items which is giving me the red pepper fertility and thanks to that i can give them canned food production chain for them and i'm also getting some extra specialists and I just click probably we have some already yes we have and we have even angela yes i love angela she is providing the electricity so i will just take my airship because i have the airship in here and yeah he got some additional items already in here and he is standing next to my new hope so i'm just gonna unload those guys and go back to the export city and I'm take cool. the angela from here to my new hope and we're gonna go and jump into the camino you will see it once again, as you can see, I'll turn on the layer, layout of the city again, so you can compare this. As you can see, again, we have the inside city where we have the super hardcore influence farm. And then I was expanding in the, to in the north direction. So the direction where is the closest to the oil power plant. So thanks to that, they have the electricity. And in here, as you can see, I'm just locking the coffee and also the fur coats. They got some problems with sewing machines, but they still got enough so they have everything in here and also i have the additional just the farmers so if we're gonna check in here you're gonna see that the population is we have let the me devil just turn off play. this layout yes so we have 94 59 again i forgot about one artisan and then 100 farmers so yeah i'm gonna just double check about this artisan yeah i see him is right in here okay i'll have to more. give them two items to advance him so the last island, Tatooine, is right in here. And again, we have, as you can see, I'm just going to face them to the right. Turn on the layout, you'll see, yes, this is the same layout. So small layout for the super hard to farm. And here I have only the engineers in this. So I did not expand with the farmers. We turn off the layout once again to not forget about it. So we're going to check that in here with the population, we have 94 again and 70 engineers. So right now, I don't providing them with much. Uh, as you can see, everything is dropping down and it's dropped down in the future. So whenever I'm going to need those workforce, I'm just going to bring back some, I don't know, 100 of canned food, 100 of sewing machines and 100 of glasses and also light bulbs. And thanks to that, I will have for about, I don't know, one hour or two hours the workforce for the engineers. And later on, I will just forget about it and this will drop down again. So I will just do something like this, so it will fluctuate, but thanks to that to I don't artisans. have to worry about those guys. Art is so yeah, my ship Everything. is waiting, so I can just pick up Angela. She's gonna be useful for the future for sure. I can take one, one, one robot, why not? And bring everything back to the new right hope. So we are in the new hope. We are researching this Holy one item that we were talking about. And I was expanding my city right in this direction, so you can see? make sure that everything is in the range of the town hall and as you remember my town hall have those two items so those two guys that are increasing the research speed and also this legendary guy that is giving me bonus research points plus four and also reduces the needs of the hibiscus tea by 30 percent so this guy you have to research him in the research institute so i'm gonna build my new town hall and now i'm just gonna Probably I'm going to move this a little bit. So let me just check how many buildings I can place for our scholars. Take a little bit closer look. Let's build them right in here. Yeah, that's going to be alright, I think. Move it him a little bit even in this area. Now in here, as you can see, I have the paved street because if you're gonna go and select, for example, this, you can just move it and place it in the, the fast. I'm just pressing the right mouse click. As you can see, I'll take the paved street and just drag it into this wheel. And I can do the same with the scholars. I can go to the building, drop it into this place. So I will have the much quicker way to select it, select it and use it in my game. Okay, so I place those buildings. I'm just gonna go and the same do the same in here. Let's place them just in 
different directions. I can place them more in here even. Okay. Double check the direction. And we have two more buildings left, so we can build them next to our research institute. We got the scholars right in here. Alright, so we got all the buildings done. So probably we're gonna run low on some items in a few seconds. And we're probably gonna probably gonna reach the 4000 mark. And with the happiness, this will mean that we're gonna unlock the clay pipes. And as you can see at the top, I got some additional buffs for them. So, and based on Highlands, Highlands Park, Give me the reduction of the needs by 10% for the hibiscus tea and seafoods too. And this taiga forest park is also reducing the needs by 5%. And here we have the... <laughs> oh, just happiness plus 2 and chances chance for illness minus 50%. So there are additional buffs that I have from the sets that I have in here. And I'm going to have the special video about the sets in... Probably ah, in this weekend. Yeah, it is researching. And why it's I researching, I'm gonna talk about one Can more thing because perhaps? I was researching also and made some additional buildings for our production chain. So you know the about coffee. So from the malt we are making the coffee <laughs> in here. And before I was talking in the last episode about that of the wrong processing time. Well, I was talking with you in the comment section, especially with Pepe Paris and some other guys. So thanks a lot for your ideas and, and comments. And according to those comments, what I figure out that this is working correctly. Because if we are gonna turn off the Angela, so she is in the trade union building. If I'm gonna turn off her, you will see that this is not working. And now it's showing that the processing time is one minute. Which means that this is the base. And once I will turn on Angela once again, you will see that this is dropping down to 30 seconds. So this is correct because she is improving it by 100% by providing the electricity. So also I have the RAM made from the coal as you remember, so this is the RAM, advanced RAM distillery, but so this is producing the RAM from the coal and also from the potato. So this is super oh yes we got the new blocks so okay so we're gonna do this and one more thing I have the advanced cotton mill and it's located right in here as you can see a really small building but this is the advanced cotton mill. As you can see, they're making the cotton sheets in here. So we got the cotton and it is processing the wood and also the wool. And thanks to that, we got the cotton. Let me just double check what about the wood. I was not talking. Yes, I got the problem with the wood. I'm going to require to get some additional wood. And maybe I'm going to use this space to create some additional wood cutters. Because we're running really low, so now yeah, so we are now jumping back. So this is good, so that was a good reaction. And of course we are going to the scholars because we unlocked the telephones. Yes, so they should have the telephones need right now. And also in the happiness we have the pipes, so play pipes. And they have the plus three happiness and plus four research points. So plenty of research points. So we got this, and this will give us plus 20 scholars that's a lot and plus two research points so this is super awesome and yes so this is something that we're gonna do <laughs> as you remember i made the video about the how to prepare yourself for the land of lions dlc and i was talking that telephones are made from the caoutchouc because this is what i heard about it i was checking the forums and everybody was talking about the caoutchouc and what it turned out it is not true so <laughs> i want to apologize for this but i was getting wrong by the other comments and as you will now see and i will see we we'll, and right now we're gonna check what is the real source of the telephone in the presence of a virtuoso so just accept this guy and we're gonna check that the telephones are made <laughs> filament factory and also veneers okay okay so this is surprising and we have the telephone manufacturer that makes the telephones every 45 seconds and the uh, workforce is 150 engineers hmm that is very interesting so let me just check what about the filaments and also the markets oh this okay city is a magnet veneers. For genius. so let's double check that and we will see that the coal yeah we got the coal got the filaments luckily and yeah <laughs> luckily i have this as well so we got everything, but probably we're going to need to increase the numbers in the future as it's going to require plenty of it. 
to research the item. Yes, we researched the item. Oh my. So this is perfect. We research the item, so we're gonna do the same what we did in the few seconds ago. So I'm gonna go press Ctrl T, go to the cultural items, and then select the all islands, and then find the second item. So this is the Ark of the Covenant, and this is the roots of Enbessa. Go to the research institute. It should be selected already. Yes, it is selected. All hands up already. And we're just gonna develop this. So yeah, it's gonna take take about another 15 minutes. Perfect. So we are researching it. So I think that we're gonna need to find other space for this. Somewhere with the next to the hole. And it's I got the space in here. Inspection. And I have the deposit right in here. So I'm gonna probably in the future try to change it. So we can change the deposit to the hole. But to do this, we're gonna need the major discovery. So I'm gonna do this in the future. I got this warehouse right in here. I think that I'm gonna place. Wow, that is a really huge building. Really huge. Probably I'm gonna place it right in here. I'm gonna get rid of this lumberjack. Let me just get rid of this lumberjack. I'm gonna place this telephone makers. <laughs> really huge building. And I'm gonna use our trade union building to provide this with electricity because as you can see it is not working right now. So I got the trade union and let me just find a good space to place it. So now we're gonna equip this trade union with Angela which is right now in our airship. So let's unload the airship. So we're gonna have the Angela. Yes, so as you can see now they are we working are all the elements to and now we're gonna energy. also get the York. So Jörg von Malsching, so he was giving us plus 70% of the productivity for all mines. So as you can see, all mines are right now, this is the maximum mines that are in range of this trade union building. So now this mine is, should be working on 270%. This is correct, as you can see. So we got this, and this gives me the Angela. And then we can make just additional, I don't know, robot to reduce the workforce. So now we have here 75 here 25 just and here just five right all right it is something i should probably use the robot the gold robot but it is okay yeah it should be okay right now so we're gonna see <laughs> the the new building so let's jump into the first person mode and as you can see this is the building for our telephones and we got the special mission as i was talking about the special missions in my previous video quick tip and trick you can watch it so if we're gonna press on it, we got the special mission, collect the three crates to get some additional buff. But we're not gonna make it right now, I'm just gonna take a closer look at my beautiful telephone factory. <laughs> 1800 oil, okay. Okay, really interesting, we can jump. Let's jump around for fun. Okay, they have a break right now. Like brothers and brothers. <laughs> oh yeah. <go>. Okay, <laughs> this is fun. And uh, here we he is selling are you saying the cell phone? No. Cigars. Right in here, cigars? Yeah. Okay. Explosives. Oh, I can pick up the explosive. Okay. Not, oh, there's another explosive in here. Maybe I'm gonna be able to do this even in here. Oh yes, so we are back. Boom. There we are. And now we now have the new power if we're gonna press three. We're gonna have the fireworks. Yeah, run, run. <laughs> Small fun with the fireworks. <laughs> it's causing some mess like in GTA. Yeah, people are running around. Yeah, I have the fireworks. Awesome. Okay, so let's stop <laughs> with this. Yeah, it's just gonna accept the item. It was the perfect timing with the just two second let. So I got this. Uh, oh my goodness, do you see this? We just producing one and a something because we got 188. So yes, we have one and a something. <laughs> and we're gonna need five. This is crazy. This is this means actually that we're gonna require about four telephones production chains this is crazy and they are really big actually huge buildings so let me just build them 
So yeah, I'm gonna build additional one in here. Are they gonna be in range? No. Oh my, they are too huge to be in the range. Oh man, this means that we're gonna need to probably build them right in here. And additional one. Oh my god, this is huge. Really huge. Okay, so we got four production chains. That should be enough for now. And I'm gonna need to research this kit for sure. Eight minutes left. Yeah, I'm gonna need to research the deposit change. As you can see, we got some problems with the seafood and tapestries also. Yeah. So let's just double check with the control T and go to the storage or actually into the production and say here scholars needs yes and we're gonna see that for example gramophones gramophones are okay but wow we are producing right now four leather boots and we're gonna need seven so this means that we're gonna need to double the production as you can see it jumped really high and yeah they had 200 percent so i'm gonna need to have two additional boot makers and then oh no tailored suits again so I'm gonna need probably about how many buildings do I have? Three, and they are giving me just seven. So I'm gonna need probably two more tailored suits buildings. Okay, so two, two. <laughs> Hibiscus tea. We don't producing it in here, but we need forty, or I mean, and we are getting them in twenty minutes, which means that we're gonna require eighty, and here we're gonna need one hundred seafoods too. So I will just increase also hibiscus tea to 100 and also 100 in here and also 100 to tapestries. So yes, and in here as you can see we are almost on 5 on 5. So yeah, we are almost. We're gonna need to make additional building actually. This is crazy, but right now as you can see they have 177, 170, so maybe we'll be able to get to 5 by 5. <laughs> yeah and here we need just 60 because 3 multiple 20 means that we're gonna need 60. so let me just double check because we're gonna go to the storage and say for example clay pipes and we will see that we are giving this through our trade route so right now we're importing 40 and what i said before it should be 60. so we're gonna jump in here and we're just gonna adjust this we import just about 50 of them i was talking about 100 tapestries so we're going to do the same in here so 100 and then 100 seafoods too so we're going to do 100 this is correct and then we have 50 discus tea but we are using the new and besa we got the cape and besa hibiscus tea this is the second import we got here 20 and that was 50 so we're going to need Additional 10. That's going to be 80. I'm going to use this new space in here. If it's going to be perfect. So for, I said that I need a few additional leather boots. Okay. Oh, This is a little bit too big. But I can place it right in here. Yeah, let's place it right in here. Let's make just ropes. So we got one, and then additional one in here. <laughs> okay, this is looking really crazy. And now we are have we have four. One building is producing thirty seconds, so in one minute we have two, and we have eight four buildings, which means that we are using eight sangha accounts in one minute. Which means that in 20 minutes we're gonna need 160 of Sangha cows. And we are importing 150. But so we are 10 Sangha cows low. Because I got the second trade road, not this one but this one, and I have here 6 cargo slots so I can get 20 Sangha cows additional. That will be unloaded in our cape trilogy. Perfect. Okay, so we got the Sangha cows in here. So we are taking care of this and in here we got into the tailor shop. And again it is huge building but got some space. 
yeah, this is in range, finally. Okay. So this is one. I'm just gonna adjust the road really quickly. So now we're gonna need additional line then, probably, as we are getting a discovery that just 150. Culture. Oh my, the time is running really fast and I'm gonna need to finish. And I'm gonna make the major discovery right now and get now some additional cotton fabric just for the future needs. So I'm gonna do this. Of these experiments That's 15 minutes, which is perfect. So we got this. So I'm just gonna double check. So we're gonna have the cotton fabric and then line them. We are importing 150 and they have 26 seconds. So in one minute we're gonna use about two. And we have four buildings. So about eight, just 80. So again, again about 160. So we're gonna need to adjust the trade route once again. So now I can actually write the Sangha cow. Oh, we got this. So we're gonna add additional 20 linens that we're gonna import. And we're gonna just unload the rest. Yes, we're gonna accept this. And we're gonna go into the Kembesa. And we're just gonna check how many linseed farms. The, yeah, linseed. Yeah, we got 650. That's plenty. So we're gonna just increase the number of linen that we are producing. So one linen is made every 30 seconds. So in 20 minutes, we're gonna have 20. So that is perfect. So I'm just gonna place one building in here, as we have two already in here. I'm just gonna change the road. I'm gonna do this in here. I'm gonna do something like this. Stand this building and just have the warehouse right in here. This is perfect. And yes. Oh yeah, so we're gonna... Oh yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to finish oh, right now to I didn't expect you not there. make this episode too long. So we're gonna finish this right in here. And tomorrow, so on Thursday. So I'm planning on Thursday to make the live stream where we're gonna continue our journey with Mbessa. As you remember, I was making on the live stream on the missions with you, with you guys, and it was really awesome to try to solve those missions with you as I was sometimes getting lost as there were plenty to, to, to do in those missions. So I'm gonna make the live stream at 1713 Central Euro European time. I to home so I will get the information on my YouTube banner on the top left, you will see it. and. I hope that we're gonna meet each other in that uh, YouTube on that live stream. I so we're gonna continue our journey doors. in the and Bessa. And as you know, I saw that on this island, or probably in here, yeah, this is the Lion King, as you can see, reference where we had the Simba entrance scene. So this is the Lion King reference in here. So yeah, so we're gonna continue next episode and actually in the live stream where we're gonna talk about the. And we're going to try to progress through the whole mission stories in here. As you can see, there are plenty of missions that can progress. Luckily, there Come are on, no Daggy, you old thing. time, time to get moving. limits in here. So, yeah. So, I'm going to continue tomorrow. I hope that we're going to meet each other the tomorrow in the live stream. Also. So, 1713 Central European time. I hope that we're going to meet each other. So, boys and girls, that's it for today. Boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me. And I hope that we're going to meet each other next time. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day, and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.